What do you say to those viewers that don't pursue their dreams and are locked in their careers because they are too afraid to take risks and pursue something mm -hmm. meaningful? Well, the first thing I would say is, well, you should be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something meaningful. But you should be more afraid of staying where you are if it's making you miserable. It's like the first thing you want to do is dispense with the idea that you get to have any, any permanent security outside of your ability to contend and adapt. It's the same issue with children. It's like you're paying a price by sitting there being miserable. You might say, well, the devil I know is better than the one I don't. It's like, don't be so sure of that. The clock is ticking. Yeah, but and if you're miserable in your job now and you change nothing, in five years you'll be much more miserable and you'll be a lot older. But and isn't so it a luxury to pursue what is meaningful? Our viewers have mortgages, they have children, yeah. they have payments and loans. It's well, a luxury to pursue because we, we lack the resources. Well, I don't think, I don't remember now, I'm not talking about what makes you happy. It's a luxury to pursue what makes you happy. It's a moral obligation to pursue what you find meaningful. And that doesn't mean it's easy. It might require sacrifice. If you need to change your job too, let's say you have a family and, 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 and children and, and a mortgage, you have responsibilities. You've already picked up those responsibilities. You don't just get to walk away scot-free and say, well, I don't like my job, I quit. That's no strategy. But what you might have to do is you think, well, this job is killing my soul. All right, so what do I have to do about that? Well, I have to look for another job. Well, no one wants to hire me. It's like, okay. Maybe you need to educate yourself more. Maybe you need to update your, your curriculum vitae, your resume. Maybe you need to overcome your fear of being interviewed. Maybe you need to sharpen your social skills. Like, you, you have to think about these things strategically. If you're going to switch careers, you have to do it like an intelligent, responsible person. That might take you a couple of years of, of, of effort to do properly. When you say pursue something meaningful, is it important mm -hmm. to have a vocation? I, I think it's more important to to have a, an ethos, an ethic. So I have a program, for example, called the Future Authoring Program, which is a writing program that enables people to develop a vision for their life and then to develop a strategy. And so it's based on the idea, imagine that, and it's an extension of the ideas in the book, or at least something along the same lines. The first thing that you want to do is figure out, imagine you were taking care of yourself, like you were someone you cared for, which is rule number two, by the way, essentially then you should figure out, well, if you could have what you needed and wanted, what would it be? What sort of friends would you have? What would your family relationships look like? How would you conduct yourself with your children? How would you educate yourself? You need to think through how it is that your life could be properly arranged if you had that ability. And then you can aim at that. And the funny thing is, is that if you do posit a goal of that sort and work towards it, you will move towards it. The goal will change because you'll learn things along the way. But I mean, I've, I've dealt with hundreds of people in my clinical and consulting practice and we set a goal, we develop a vision and work towards it. And it, it, things inevitably get better for people. So it's not a luxury, it's, it's difficult. It's a moral responsibility and it isn't happiness. It's, it's not the pursuit isn't for happiness. Yeah, that's a reflection of the other.